Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another smelly vision with this cool package right here. This from a brand called Imaginary Authors um, at imaginaryauthors.com is where I ordered this. Um, they do these fun little short story collections. Um, it's an eight piece sample set of your choice. This is $38, I think with tax and everything. I think it was like 40 something, 45. Um, so that is that. I am going to go on their website and read just a little bit about imaginary authors. So this is what it has to say about imaginary authors. It said, imaginary authors offers a widely unique fragrances born from the concept of scent as art as art as provocative or provocation like a good book these scents are meant to inspire you in these bottles are layers of narratives that are sure to generate stir conversations about fragrance that might be applicable that might be of changing course of your own story they are not only invigorating and intoxicating, but also take you to new places. Each imaginary author's fragrance allows you to compel a storyline that truly involves twists and turns. These are scents to curl up with, to share with a friend, to take with you everywhere, and to return you again and again for this truly unique experience. So Imaginary Authors is kind of like telling a story through fragrance, which I really love to do and I enjoy as well with all my fragrances. I think fragrance definitely can remind you of persons, places, or things, or memories, feelings, and thoughts. So I think that's excellent. Um, part of the reason why I wanted to try this is just because it's something that sounds a little bit more unique and something different, and I'm always looking for something different when it comes to the fragrance world. So... This is my set here. I picked out eight and then they gave me a bonus fragrance. So I ended up with nine. So let's show you kind of what the inside of the book looks like. Looks like this and you have all eight and then it came with an extra one and an extra sample. So I actually have nine fragrances here. Let me take them out of the component. I've already worn all of these. I wrote some notes about them um, and we will kind of talk about them. All right, so I just like the little package. I like that it looks like a book too. Um, there's something about interesting packaging that catches my eye. So I wore all these fragrances. I'm gonna start with Memoirs of a Trespasser. This is a very popular fragrance on their website. I'm gonna say what I smell, I thought it smelled like, and then we're gonna read kind of the overview. It is a woody, smoky, dark, forest-like fragrance. Um, I rated this a four. It's, it's not bad, it's not good, it's just here, right? So this fragrance, it claims to have Madagascar vanilla, um, oak barrels, amber seed, not sure what that is, benzer resin, and guaca wood. Um, I will definitely say it is a woody fragrance. Like I said, I rate this about a four. Not my favorite, um, but I get why people like it. It is fairly unique as far as a fragrance. Definitely would consider this a unisex uh, more than feminine or masculine. Next fragrance I got into was Falling Into the Sea. And what I said about this fragrance I said that it is a lemon cleaned fresh citrus twist. I gave this a five. I liked it a little bit better than the other ones. Definitely clean. Um, if you like a lemon or fresh scent, you will like this. Let's look up what they actually had to say the notes are. So lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, leche, tropical flowers, and warm sand. So this one is pretty good. I thought I would like it more than I did, but it's just kind of middle of the road for me. It didn't last very long either. Actually, I'll be honest, none of these lasted very long, so that's kind of disappointing. I just want to start there. I don't think they're long lasting, or at least they didn't last a long time on me. All right, next up is 
yesterday's haze. And what I said about yesterday's haze is, first spray right off the bat, it is a fruity sweet coconut fragrance. I really liked this fragrance. It smells tropical and pleasant and the best out of the entire group. Yep, spoiler alert guys. Best out of the entire group. I really enjoyed this fragrance. Um, I thought it was unique. It was probably the only one I could recommend um, and probably would consider purchasing. Um, it was very much a me type of fragrance. So what they had to say, the notes are in this particular fragrance. This particular fragrance has fig, iris, cream, tonka, tree bark, walnut butters, and orchid dust. For whatever reason, I really liked this fragrance. I do have other fig fragrances that I like a lot. For some reason, it gives a very tropical vibe to me, and I don't know why, but... I really enjoy this fragrance. Probably the only one I would even think about purchasing if I was gonna purchase anything from this brand. Next up is this fragrance called Every Storm A Serenade. Looks like this. I said this is a very woody, fresh, masculine fragrance. Not my favorite. I would say I'm only giving it a three. What the website says about this fragrance it has spruce, eucalyptus, vitter, um, ambergisa, and sea mist. Just not my kind of fragrance. Definitely more masculine. Um, there was nothing feminine about this fragrance, which is a bummer because I thought it would be very like sea and stormy inspired, which it is, but it just wasn't my cup of tea. Next up is Sun Drunk. Again, I thought this would be one I really loved. What I thought it smelled like was fresh, kind of like the pool somewhat clean lemon bleach chlorine type of a smell. I gave this a six as well. Um, I like that type of a scent, really overly clean and fresh. Um, so I really enjoyed it. Not enough to purchase though. I don't think I want to smell like a swimming pool. If I want to smell like a swimming pool, I'll just go swimming. But what they had to say about Sun Drunk on the website is that this particular fragrance has neroli, honeysuckle, rose water, orange zest, and it's fresh kiss. Um, pretty interesting notes in general in this fragrance, and I know um, you guys are going to be like, that just it doesn't smell clean, guys, but it really, really does smell clean, almost like a chlorine pool day, something about it. Anywho, moving on to another fragrance that I thought was pretty unique of a name and a smell as well. This is called the Soft Lawn. Um, kind of what you guys would think, right? What well, I said, it smells like green, grass, musty, kind of unique, um, and a little bit like dirt. So I think the name is very fitting and I liked it quite a bit actually. Not enough to want to purchase it and not enough to be like, hey, I'm wearing soft lawn today. Um, but I did kind of like it. But this is what they say it smells like. Grapefruit, ivy leaves, vitter, oak moss, fresh tennis balls, and lined blossom. Um, I like their kind of crafty wording of how they say it smells like tennis balls and other things that are not really achievable as far as scent goes, but it does smell very reminiscent of fresh cut grass and playing sports. Um, if you like that sort of thing or you want to try something different, you guys may enjoy that. All right, next up is Saint Julep. So I said this smells sweet like a fresh mint julep drink. I said it's not bad, just didn't last long, kind of like the smell, but basically sweet and minty was what I got from it. Um, I rated this a six. What the website said, it's a sweet mint, tangerine, southern magnolia, bourbon, and a sugar cube. It definitely is sweet and fresh, like minty. If you don't like that, you won't like this. I kind of liked it. It was something different. I don't think I liked it enough to purchase it, but I did like it overall. All right, this guy right here is called Whispered Myths. What I said about this particular fragrance is, is that it's a wood burnt plastic no good, not for me, not at all. I'd rate it a one or a two at best. It does have kind of a burnt band-aid type of a smell if you guys know what I mean by that. Um, definitely something I don't like even in the slightest and can't recommend. 
um, pretty much for anyone. But what the website had to say about Whispered Myth, this has cardamom, oud, cantaloupe, cedarwood, honey, and shipwrecked. Um, I don't like any oud type fragrances, so that was probably a main thing of why I didn't like it. I picked it because I liked the name. The name is unique, and I can only recommend the cuteness of the name. Last but certainly not least is this extra one that I got that is called a whiff, a whiff of Waffle Cones. And this particular fragrance is very, very sweet, smells just like freshly cooked waffle cones. Kind of reminded me of being at Disneyland in the ice cream shop. It does smell a lot like that place. Um, I liked how it smelled. I didn't love it on me. It was kind of so-so. I gave it a five. Um, if you like sweet kind of food-like fragrances, you might like this. What the website said, it has a smell of vanilla, heavy cream, salted caramel, cinnamon and a ice cream shop so it is very fitting of an ice cream shop it does remind me of that particular um scent but yeah so my overall thoughts about imaginary authors is i love the packaging i love the names i didn't have too many fragrances i really liked the only one i really like and i would even think about purchasing would be yesterday's haze this kind of tropical one i liked it none of them lasted on my skin more than a couple hours so that was a big letdown their starting kind of price range is the sample set, which is about 40 something dollars. The small bottles are 65 and the big ones go up to 95 and so on. So for me, this company, I think is fun if you like to test and enjoy fragrance, but I didn't find anything that I had to have or super enjoyed. So for me, I probably won't be purchasing anything from imaginary authors, but I do appreciate the sentiment of the fragrance and the concept and the ideas behind the names. Um, the scents for me don't always match up with the names, so maybe that's the issue. I just have a very specific nose of what I like, and I didn't really like most of these, which was quite disappointing. Um, I was debating on even reviewing the brand after I tested them all and I wasn't a huge fan, but I think I can recommend yesterday's haze. So I'm going to say, if you want to try anything from this company, get a sampler set, always test it out for yourself. But on my personal opinion, this company is a pass and I don't recommend buying anything from imaginary authors myself, but if you love fragrance and you want to try it, go for it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday. In the description box will always be my Instagram for daily posts and my Etsy account if you'd like to support my crafty adventures. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.